and it's supposed to create 4,500 jobs directly right away and they're expecting it's going to indirectly create even more jobs in the future. What's going on guys? It's Jacob Orth back here with another video talking to you about Las Vegas 2016 and what we can expect for the future of this area. Gonna get into a, a new one that just happened recently here at the end of 2015 in just a second. But before I do, I gotta say thank you guys for checking out this video, checking out my channel. Thanks to all of you that have subscribed and comment. You guys are awesome. I love hearing what you guys have to say. Definitely gonna wanna hear what you have to say about this one and the effect it's gonna have on the local economy here in Vegas. Check out my website, jacobslifeinvegas.com. Get yourself a freebie just for signing up on the email list. And also you can follow me on Twitter at Jacob's Vegas Life and on Instagram, Jacob's Life in Vegas. You know, see some cool pictures and videos around town. So getting into this one, this is about the Faraday plant that is uh, coming here to North Las Vegas. This just happened um, really here in the last few weeks uh, with Governor Sandoval signing the legislation or signing the deal that the plant is going to be opening in North Las Vegas. It's going to be a billion dollar plant, one billion dollars. It's going to be three million square feet and it's going to be producing a new line of electric cars and they're very ambitious, Faraday is, because they want these cars on the road as early as 2017. And they're going to be displaying them at the Consumer Electronics Show out here in Vegas. So they have a huge audience to show this new electric car. But as early as 2017 is when they want to uh, have these cars out here on the road. Faraday was actually given, uh, as part of the deal that was signed with Governor Sandoval, $215 million in tax incentives and 119 million dollars for improvements in infrastructure in North Las Vegas. The catch is that they don't get any of these actual incentives though until they invest at least a billion dollars. So they're going to have to put up quite a bit of money before they can even get those kind of incentives. Uh, they are going to be breaking ground here in the first quarter of 2016 and it's supposed to create 4,500 jobs directly right away and they're expecting it's going to indirectly create even more jobs in the future. So. Tell me what you guys think. This is big news to come out here down to Southern Nevada. Uh, the impact it's gonna have on the local economy is expected to be sizable. Tell me what you think about it. You think it's really gonna help the local economy here, gonna help with the jobs, gonna help with the unemployment rate. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. That's it for this video. I'm Jacob and this is My Life in Vegas.